this is the admission portal from where you need to sign in from where you need to log in and if you are applying for the first time or you are the first time user new user register here you will click over here and the portal will open like this and you have to just fill your basic details and register yourself with iit delhi good morning everyone in today's video we are going to discuss about in particular about your msc cognitive science okay so this is the information brochure complete information brochure by iit delhi so if you want if you are studious or if you want to take admission in msc cognitive sciences which is the future for the which is the field for the future sorry my bad which is the future for the field or field for the future msc in cognitive sciences that too from iit delhi then this video you must be watching very very carefully because in this video we are going to discuss everything in detail about msc in cognitive sciences okay so you must have done your bachelor's i hope and this is the very first important information for you right now the applications have commenced commenced on march 22nd and the last date of submission for online application and fee is april 7 2025 okay so you have six days remaining and after watching this video you can easily fill out your application form and do everything on your own and conduct of written test interview if any will be on may 14 to may 16 orientation for new pg students will be 1925 and registration for new pg july 19 and july 24 so what is all this we'll talk about this thing in detail and let's start today's video okay so in this information brochure when you will visit iit delhi website on page number 19 you will find this particular thing make sure that you remember the last day to apply is 7th of april okay so if you are someone who has recently qualified gate then you must do this thing and take admission to the pg courses of iit delhi now msc in economics and msc in cognitive science what they are telling us in detail we will talk about this the institute has introduced new program msc in economics which we are not talking about we are talking about msc in cognitive sciences or science whatever you want to say two year full time at the department of humanities and social sciences so you will work under dhss department of humanities and social sciences okay now what is the primary eligibility for programs that most of you will fall under any bachelor's degree or equivalent awarded by any of the what 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 it they just require the bachelor's degree okay located outside india subject to the guidelines for admission of foreign students whatever that is it means you just have to have your three years of bachelor's the bachelor degrees or equivalent qualification obtained by the candidate must entail a minimum of three years of education so you must be three years of education that is bachelor's mostly ba bsc whatever you would have done after completing higher secondary schooling 10 plus 2 or equivalent okay so let's suppose there is this girl uh, there is this boy who has completed first of all 10th class then 12th class and then they must have a three years of graduation if you are having this much of eligibility if you have qualified this much then you are eligible for msc in cognitive sciences in iit delhi now program duration we talk about the duration of msc programs is four semesters that is 24 months approximately two years for you now minimum qualifications and procedure for admission to msc in economics and msc in cognitive science program is table number four we will just follow this shortly table number four list the minimum qualifications required for admission to full-time msc in cognitive science and msc in cognitive science programs at iit delhi in this context please note now this is very very careful or this is very very important for you we will look into this first of all there these are institute minimum requirements and the department what is it is it is dhss department of humanities and social sciences can specify higher shortlisting criteria or criteria then what is specified here okay so they can just choose on their own who will they will choose they will choose i mean who they are they are dhss department of humanities and social sciences for you guys now number second option is very very important the admission to msc in cognitive science will be through gate okay so if you are maybe you are watching for 2026 you want to do a masters in 2026 then it is very very important that you will give gate examination and you will follow this channel pretty obviously okay so gate is the requirement for msc in cognitive sciences in iit delhi so in iit delhi it is for sure that without gate or without gate score you will not be able to apply for msc in cognitive science either the candidates with a valid gate score okay so each this time everyone is having a valid gate score above a certain cutoff now this is the interesting part over here okay so now who will decide this above a certain cutoff d 
HSS. Okay, so it is nothing on you. It is completely on them that what is the certain cutoff they are going to decide for this time will be invited to appear before an interview panel. Okay, so let's suppose we'll just take our data. Let's say 55, 60, 61, 70, 59, 42 and like this okay so let's suppose these have applied for the msc in cognitive sciences so what they will take they will might they take 60 may, might be the cutoff so 60 will be called called uh, called for the interview 61 70 these three will be called for the interview and rest will be called for the next time maybe or whatever that criteria is okay or they have to apply with a high gate score for the next time so if you are having a gate score so now you will obviously not know whether you are falling or maybe because there are phd candidates also who are having a high score Let's suppose someone has 80 score and you are having 60 score, but you too have chances to get an MSc Cognitive Sciences because MSc Cognitive Sciences guys might have a score around 60 to 70. Okay, just an assumption. So it is up to you that you have to apply and wait for your chances, wait for your luck. If you are anywhere above 60 plus, you should definitely apply. Then you have a very, very high chances because not everyone will apply to MSc in Cognitive Science and not everyone is that much studious because they are getting 60% which we are going to discuss it right now. Now option number 3 is not for you. Now option number 4 is interesting once again candidates in the final year. So if you are in the final year you can just apply you have qualified gate congratulations to you but you must meet the requirements before your admission okay and you can just discuss with them they will help you in that case okay. Now this is the minimum qualification for admission to MSc in cognitive science program and that is something this looks something like this okay. So they have taken what they have taken 55%. Okay. Now this is very, very interesting. 60% for the PhD and 55% for this MSc in cognitive science. Okay. Because they want, and I am pretty sure that they will increase to 60% sooner or later. Okay. So it is your chance. Go and apply for MSc cognitive science. So what is the qualifying degree? Either you have to have done BA, BSc, BCom, BMS, BTech, BE, BSTAT, BMath, equivalent. Any one of these guys can do. MSc in Cognitive Science provided they have qualified gate. Okay. Now, economics, we are not talking about no entrance test for you. So, you will be called for on the basis of only what? Only your gate score. Gate score and interview. And obviously, interview, they will just check one primary thing that is your confidence. And number second, your interest in the subject or whatever you are having knowledge. Just that. Okay. First and foremost thing is the confidence. Even if you don't know anything, but you are saying with confidence, everyone will be shattered. Everyone don't know everything. But what is most required is the confidence. Okay. Now, at least 55% or 5.5 CGPA for general OBC non creamy category students. Okay. So if you are above 55%, definitely go for it. And if you are having a good gate score. Okay, now this is the primary primary requirements and for SCST candidates, they have a relaxation from 55 to 50% and qualifying degree performance is computed. This is IMP. Qualifying degree performance is computed by aggregating performance over all the semesters. So all the semesters, six semesters, they will aggregate and they will call you. You can also calculate that on your own. They have given in the uh, this brochure as well. Okay, now taking into account all subjects, including languages and subsidiaries all years combined. Okay, whatever that is. Applications from CFTI with a minimum GPA of 8.0 if you are having which is not the most likely case Admission to other existing MSc. We will not talk about that as well. We are just talking about MSc cognitive science Now, okay. Now we are done with this for MSc cognitive science. These are the eligibility These are the primary eligibility and these are the requirements So if you are falling under this you must apply for IIT Delhi and who knows you get lucky you set for the interview and you are selected and you will tell there that you are now student of MSc Cognitive Sciences which is the field of the future. Okay now these are general guidelines you can just read the minimum eligibility criteria indicated above for each program is only an enabling clause it is just an enabling clause the department DHSS may fix higher criteria at the time of shortlisting that is what I told you they can require a high cutoff based on your gate score and all those things okay. And you can just calculate your minimum prescribed marks in aggregate of all the years like this and you can just calculate whatever they have given over there just like this. Okay. Now admission on part time basis nothing is of your importance. The next thing is which is primary important is application procedure. You can just go on this click on this link and you will just application form of 200 rupees. 
and candidates belonging to SC, ST, PWD, they have to just submit 50 rupees and everything will be sorted out for them. So what you need to do, you have to just go over here, new user register, most of you, and then fill the complete details over here and then register yourself and then you can log in and proceed ahead with the complete application form. Okay, now whatever I have told you, you just need to understand that much. This is 74 PDF, which is none of your use. Okay. So separate application form should be filled for MSc in Cognitive Science that is most of your cases and no need to read this you will just get confused okay this is not of your importance because they are talking about MTech over there and not like what is required in MSc Cognitive Sciences okay so now you are getting hostel accommodation and all those things for girls and all those things you can just read this thing in detail okay and registration for courses and fees and payment okay we'll just directly move to the your section of ms where it is msc cognitive sciences and there you go where it is ms m tech wait a second okay now institute dues payable by 2025 entry for the phd m tech and these all things so for okay for msc and ms students we are over here 29900 22400 general 7500 and things like this so obviously if you are selected you can just read this but before that there is a, none of your use okay and this is tuition fee whatever it is none of your importance or none of your concern right now the very first concern right now is to sit for that interview okay rest all you can read on your own okay so out of these 74 pages these two three pages were your concern and that is sorted out now first of all what is the minimum eligibility it is 10 plus 2 plus 3 if you have studied this much with 55 percent aggregate and 50 percent for sc st pwd categories then you are eligible to apply provided next is your gate score whatever your gate score depending upon that see they have given the cutoff over here as well but that cutoff is for different courses which are more famous like mtech and all those things okay we are talking about iit and this humanities and social sciences is just a new inclusion after 2020 okay so you have to take your chances the application fees is rupees 200 only so if you find this very heavy then just think on that that you have to apply for where or you can just take your chances that you might get lucky your score might be one or two marks above the minimum requirement and they they are going to prescribe and you can, will sit for interview and then you will be more confident and you will be admitted or you will be taken admission in iits with your msc in cognitive sciences okay so wish you all the very best this is the primary requirement this is the only thing which you need to understand to apply for or sit for msc cognitive science and do two years of your masters and once you complete this there is a lot of new things coming up ahead We'll talk about that as we are proceeding ahead. You can go on this portal, register yourself and do the detailing over there and wish you all the very best for your interview. I hope you, every one of you get selected and the best out of the best are selected for IIT Delhi and they will surely do good in this field of MSc Cognitive Sciences. This was IIT Delhi. You are watching Psycho Professor English. See you all in the next video. Till then, take care. Goodbye. Anything, any inquiry regarding this particular video, you can comment down below and come to Amnida.